Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below to become a part of the family. <gasps> Look who's coming to say hi, come here. It's Fee, hi baby. I love you. Oh, you're my baby, I love you so much. So, today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a display for race bibs. Um, if you do not know, my husband and I are trying to run a half marathon in each of the 50 states. We run pretty often and uh, we just kind of have been collecting bibs over the past couple of years. We've run a half marathon in I think 22 different states so far. I made my display a few days ago and so I'm gonna make David's today. We are officially in that time when I think that everything is going to get quarantined because of the coronavirus. Today is, it's important to say the days in these because um, everything changes so fast and the rules and regulations and everything change so quickly. But today is March 16th. So yesterday Ohio shut down all restaurants and bars for like going in and sitting down and eating. You can still do carry out. Ohio also said no large gatherings more than 100 people and our grocery stores are now limited on the number of hours you can go in and shop. So I have a feeling that everything's going to be closed next and we're going to be stuck inside. So uh, I'm already starting that since I work from home anyway. We're not going anywhere today. Probably not uh, over the next few days, but I'm still in my pajamas here as you can see. And I'm gonna work on showing you guys how I'm doing this today. I get a lot of questions about uh, running in general and once I hung up our race medals back here, I'll show you guys those in a second. I did get questions about what we're doing with our bibs and this is what we finally decided to do. Also, you're going to be hearing my dryer in the background. The next project for I believe maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, I don't know when, but we're going to be taking everything out of our laundry room and renovating it. So I'm trying to do a bunch of loads of laundry today so you'll hear, hear my dryer run in the background because I need to finish all my laundry before I move the washer and dryer out and won't have it anymore, you know? This is my finished product that I made. We got these poster board uh, frames from David's parents. They already had them. It's actually quite big. It goes up to my hip at least. So these are really 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 good size oh and if i did not mention before these are the dimensions of the frame i just put the bibs in there that i could find and some of the races we went to like the new england challenge we got one bib for two different races so not all of them are in there for as many as we've run hi finn <laughs> Uh, but this is what that looks like. Also back here we have our medals and so David and I have been collecting those. These are David's. These are mine. We do have some different ones because we haven't run all of the states together. We really just measured out everything we would need to put the bolts and stuff in the wall. We got extra like anchors and stuff to hold a lot of weight because medals weigh a lot and they're very heavy and then we just hung the medals on there. These are actually curtain rods. I got them for five dollars each at Home Depot. They're a great uh, investment. So these fr big frames are gonna go here and then this is what we have for David so far. So all you're going to need are all of your race bibs and your frame. This is just a random poster that was in there. Obviously I'll be taking this out but it is mounted to a black piece underneath and that is what I'm going to be using to uh, put all of these, glue all of those on with. Hello Finn. The only other thing that you're going to need for this are some scissors just to trim up on the edges and then I got a thing of rubber cement hi do you want to play I love you too rubber cement um, I did just get this at Walmart it was only a couple of dollars I actually love using rubber cement I use it for all of my scrapbooking stuff however you have to be 18 or older to buy it which means that you have to be born before March of 2002 and when I went into the store to buy it she looked at the date and looked at me and was like there's my dryer <laughs> she looked at the date on the screen of March of 2002 and then looked at me and was like I need to see your ID and I was like thanks Almost 24 years old, okay. All right, let's get started. 
So I laid all of these out. The way that I try to like organize them is that I kind of separate them into piles of cool bibs. Like we have that has like a design and everything on it. And it says his name, which is cooler than just like random number bibs, you know? Okay, Finn, you make this very difficult. You didn't even want to be down here before. What the heck? So uh, I separate them like that. And, then, and I also separate them with color, meaning, meaning that if I have an orange one down here, I'll also try to put an orange one up there instead of right next to each other. Just like with the blues, I try to separate them out. With the greens, I try to separate them out. With these cooler like designs, I try to separate them out. I just don't want anything to be right next to each other and that includes like plain white ones. I don't like plain white ones next to each other either. I like to have some color there also. So that's kind of how I organize it. So next I'm going to be going through and putting this rubber cement on the back. This is nice because it does have a brush attached to the lid so you can like brush it on. You don't have to use like a paintbrush or anything. And then I'm gonna start on the top of this where these uh are organized so that they have some covering them up and then end on the bottom where obviously these are the ones on top and then i'm just going to go down the whole thing i'm only going to do glue on the back and then yeah also before i forget one thing that we did do is that on the opposite side sometimes they have the automatic tracking things dude you need to stop please Sometimes they have the automatic trackers that are like foam, so we just rip those off and then they can easily be painted right over with the glue to be glued on. <laughs> Alright guys, so everything is now glued on. I went through and cut like the edges of uh, the ones that hang off a little bit. And so this is David's final look here. I'm really excited. Um, I'll just put it in that and use this as the backing again. Oh, look, it's Finn. <laughs> He's up there sleeping, and then every time I start talking, he thinks, Oh, Mom's talking to me. Let me run down there and see what she's saying, right? Right? You're so pretty. I love you. I love him so much. But anyways, I'm going to let this dry. I usually give it like a few hours to let it dry. And then I'll put it all together and it'll look very similar to mine. I'm so excited to hang them up on the wall and I'm going to end this video here. But I will put in a final clip um, once this is done drying and I have them on the wall so that you guys can see kind of like what that corner looks like. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other video requests, now that I'm just hanging out quarantined in my house... Um, I have lots of time. So, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Right, Finn? Right, right. Bye. Bye. I love you. <laughs> no kiss back? Okay. Okay. <laughs>